So it's been a strange year for the Apple Watch Series 9 as well as the Ultra second generation as it was a patent violation with Massimo in resulting Apple to remove the blood oxygen sensor on their flagship Apple Watches. And this only affects Apple Watches that were, from my understanding, purchased after December 24th of 2023. So if you purchase an Apple Watch before then, you are not affected and you have nothing to worry about. It says after that is when one of the most impressive features that the Apple Watch Series 9 as well as the Ultra 2 have was the blood oxygen sensor. Because now if you launch the app, it's either going to say it's no longer available or the app in general is going to be unavailable. Now I did recently went to the Apple store and purchased the brand new Series 9. So we can actually take a look at this and see how that actually looks like. Because for the same cost as the Series 9 Apple Watch, they took away one feature and it still is retailing for the same cost. And we're going to go ahead and see firsthand how does that look like and then I also want to go ahead and check out and see if there's a third-party app we can install to reactivate the blood oxygen sensor so this again is the series 9 Apple watch and this one is the 45 millimeter let's go ahead and unbox this and pair it to our iPhone and go ahead and compare it against a series 9 that I have right here that was purchased before patent violations so here's the unboxing experience nothing out of the ordinary everything looks 100 percent identical to the previous apple watches now this is the midnight color for the aluminum body apple watch of course you have product red starlight as well as silver and then if you settle for the stainless steel body you have silver gold graphite and the hermes edition but still out of box all we have this rechargeable puck we don't have the power adapter and the Apple Watch itself inside this little cool holster. So the packaging unboxing hasn't changed. So let's go ahead and pair this bad boy. So while we're waiting for this Apple Watch to boot up, the important specs for the Series 9 that was improved from the Series 8 is a much brighter display as this can actually go up to 2000 nits regardless on what size you choose as there's a 41 millimeter size option as well as a 45. This is the 45. There was a bump in storage as well because 64 gigabytes is now standard for this Apple Watch as well as the Ultra 2. Let's go ahead and pair set up for myself and the app crashed. Lovely. We're our face ID for this now. Now, even though the blood oxygen sensor was indeed removed, we still have ECG support, the heart rate sensor. It does feature always on display. LTE is available, but this one, this one happens to be only the GPS model. And it does support the double tap gesture that Apple recently integrated. And this is also featuring the latest generation S9 chipset. And built into the S9 is the built-in integrated Siri support that doesn't require Wi-Fi or an internet connection just to have Siri always available on your Apple Watch. But then you also have important features like crash detection, fall detection, and it still is the best fitness tracker available in the market. It still continues to be wire resistant up to 50 meters and has an gorgeous always on display. Battery life, however, has not been changed from the Series 8 to the Series 9 as it still features 18 hours of battery life and in low power mode can go up to 36 hours. And a forgotten feature about the Series 9 is it does indeed support fast charging. So the pairing process is almost caught up, going pretty quick actually. And my device is actually on iOS 17.4. I'm on the beta. All right, and now we are paired and we're going to compare it with a Series 9 Apple Watch right here that was purchased after the patent ban issue. So let's scroll down and see if we can find a blood oxygen sensor on the new one real quick. No, I didn't see it. Oh wait, here it is, here it is. The blood oxygen sensor is no longer available. Learn, form, learn more in the health app on your iPhone. So that's how it looks like. And this is an old Apple Watch, also series nine. Here's some tips. This one's working just fine. So it is true. If you purchased the Apple Watch before the 24th, you have access to it, and if you don't, you're just gonna see this message. Now my Ultra 2 also has the blood oxygen sensor, and it's been a while since I opened it. Yeah, it's gonna run me through the same thing, because I've probably only done this once. It works. So this is how it looks like, but what I wanna test is see if we could download an app that gives us the blood oxygen sensor abilities. So here's this app. For some reason, I keep getting a verification fail. Error description not available when I'm trying to log in to the app store on the Apple Watch so I can download this third party app. This is super annoying. <laughs> I wanted to see if this third party app will allow me to do it, but it doesn't let me, unfortunately. 
So I cannot confirm at the time making this video if that third party app was going to allow us to use the blood oxygen sensor since this Apple Watch does have the hardware. So that's really unfortunate. But the good news is there's been multiple journalists confirming or saying that, don't quote me on this, but as soon as this patent issue is resolved on this Apple Watch that was recently purchased, the blood oxygen sensor should be back in the app store so you could use it on the apple watch if apple ever resolves this with massimo now lastly i decided for fun to label each apple watch so i have the ultra 2 the series 9 old series 9 new and the se second generation to do a just like a general boot up time test and see if there's even a difference with this no blood oxygen sensor in the series 9 and to my surprise not really because in first place was that surprisingly the Ultra 2, but from my previous test, the Ultra 2 was in first place, followed by the Series 9. And then shortly after was actually the Series 9 old. Took a little longer, probably due to the fact that it has apps installed, so everything needs to be boot up, which makes sense. But the S8 chipset that's found on the SE second generation was still slower than the, the S9 chipset, of course. But what I have to say after all of this, yes, it does suck that this feature is taken away from us and Apple continues charging us the same retail price when the Apple Watch had that feature. But the blood oxygen sensor can be a gimmick to some users, but it still was a nice health tool to have because your Apple Watch was able to notify you if it noticed that you're low a certain oxygen level. But you still have the amazing important ones like heart rate monitoring as well as ECG support. But because of this, I definitely do see older Apple Watches like the Series 9 as well as the Ultra 2 that have the oxygen sensors be worth a little bit more now since existing Apple Watches with that feature didn't get that feature removed. So I think that was kind of nice for Apple to do. So if you're an individual that was planning on utilizing the blood oxygen sensor, I would recommend buying a older model or a used one. But if you don't need that, you're perfectly fine. But so I would suggest going to Best Buy or something, buying the Apple Watch Series 9 or Ultra 2 when it's on sale. At least you get some kind of discount from those retailers since that feature is no longer there. So there you guys have it. Sorry I couldn't show you guys how the third party app was going to work on the Series 9. But keep an eye out on my shorts as I plan on resolving this problem and posting an update there as well as on my Instagram and TikTok. So feel free to follow me on those platforms to see what happens with that third party app. Anywho, if you enjoyed, you know, leave a like, get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. And if you'd like to watch more, there's this video over here that the YouTube algorithm is suggesting for you. So that's a video that they suggest. Feel free to click on it and let me know in the comment section if the YouTube algorithm was right. Thank you so much for watching.